Liberals want ordinary citizens disarmed so that only the government has guns. Most supporters of gun control presumably are motivated by a sincere desire to reduce crime and violence. I think, I don't even know that. But, but that's a very naive assumption, you know, because they're thinking that bad people will actually obey laws and, and put up a sign that says gun-free zone and they're going to read it and say, okay then, really? And, and that's a flawed assumption. And, and, and they also have this flawed assumption that police can be everywhere and that bad guys will pay attention to laws. Uh, you know, that, that's just a glimpse into the mindset of a leftist. I, I mean, usually when I look into the mindset of a leftist, I don't see anything, just a good, big, you know, big bit of nothing, right? <laughs> Many left-wingers. Lawmakers in New York City recently, including the governor of New York and the Senator Bernie Sanders, they took part in, the, in this uh, gun violence. They want gun control stuff, and they had a parade. And guess what? While they were there, they had bodyguards, and they were armed with guns. I, I, I mean, they are... I just stutter. The, the hypocrites, I, I mean, really, what is wrong with these people? I, bah, and it gets worse all of the time. The Nancy Pelosi's and all these people, they're surrounded with people. They're important, I guess. You can't protect your life in most places, but they can. I got to tell you, our lives are more important than theirs. <laughs> just share it with you. You know, and, and the politicians, they're unable to take their attention off of gun control regulations why don't you kind of put your eye on the golf ball, pay attention to the economy and the freedom and the free enterprise and the system. I, I, I mean, the mainstream media basically is trying to hide what's coming down the pipe because all they talk about are you know, gay rights and, and gun control. Gun control this week is the big thing. Next week, it'll be gay stuff and on and on. What's that got to do with the price of a banana, right? I mean, how about nothing? It's got no economic benefit whatsoever. Deal with the bloody issues. President Donald Trump. Here's a good one. I've often said that he could create a uh, cure for cancer. Nobody would care. The fake news would not report it. And if they did, they would say that he was dying of cancer. I mean, they wouldn't get it right. And he has a long list of accomplishments and achievements. Here's a recent one that I really like. He says, hey, guys, intellectual property theft. It's going on. It's big. You know that show, Game of Thrones? For the last six years, it's been the most pirated TV show on you know, on the internet, and 90% and, uh, of the viewership of U.S. movies in China is illegal. And, and that works out to be almost $600 billion a year, $600 billion. And the president is saying, I'm going to fix that. And he will, and no one will care. I, I, somebody should care. I, I, I mean, you need somebody like Fox News and me to tell people that they get past all this other nonsense. I, I, I mean, look at a fact. Don't, don't let a fact get in your way. But if you ever want a fact to get in your way, check out the stuff that he actually does. And we need somebody to do something. We need a call to action because it's getting pretty far down that left road. And, and um, now we're there. I mean, I'm so far right. I was at KFC the other night and the guy said, you want some chicken? I said, hey, I do, but I only want right wing. Hey, I'll come back. See ya.